Mike Sinkowski. He is running for the Stafford County Treasurer's Office uh, in uh, obviously Stafford County. He's got a uh, June 20th primary election. He's seeking the GOP nomination for that seat in Stafford County. Mike, thanks for coming on and talking to us today about your campaign. Yeah, thanks for inviting me, Uri. I appreciate it. So I uh, want to start off with talking about you, your background, your experience, you, who you are, how long you've lived in Stafford County, uh, any family that you have, and and how old you are. So I'll let you go talk about yourself. Okay. Um, so a little bit about my background. I don't have any experience running as a politician. It's my first time doing that. I've spent the last 17 years as an employee in Stafford. So I started as an unpaid intern in planning. Um, I then got a job in the GIS department where I got to work with lots of the different departments in a support role. So I'm familiar with utilities, code enforcement, planning. Um, and that was after I got a bachelor's degree in economics and geography from Mary Washington. Um, so I've been here about over 20 years in this area. Um, then I went to the graduate program in Mary Washington. Um, I got a master's and I focused in accounting. And then I started to look for finance jobs within the county. And the commissioner offered me a job as the real estate supervisor here. And that role has sort of morphed into um, more of a data analyst, project manager, um, kind of supporting the entire office, not specifically real estate functions. Um, so how long, so, so the commissioner of the revenue, Scott Majowski, how long have you worked in the commissioner of, re of the revenues office? I've worked for him for 10 years now. Okay. Yeah. So seven years in GIS and then 10 years now, um, working for the commissioner. Gotcha, and gotcha. As you know, but um, your audience may not, the treasurer and commissioner work together daily because we're both kind of extensions of each other's offices. You know, we um, the taxation process starts in our office and then it kind of ends in the treasurer's office. So, you know, I'm familiar with their processes, personnel, their systems, everything like that because we're so, so the commissioner of the revenue produces the real estate tax bill that most of us who live in uh, a county see, and then the treasurer's office is making sure that that tax bill is paid. Is that correct? Well, the commissioner doesn't really produce the tax bill. Um, what, what happens is we determine the value of the properties, um, then the board sets a tax rate. Now, we'll apply the tax rate in the system and then send the data over for the treasurer. Um, but the treasurer is responsible for generating those bills and actually okay. getting them and then also collecting the money, doing the proper accounting with the money and then also um, paying for expenditures when they arise. Gotcha. And and do you have, uh, are, are, are you married? Do you have family? Are you single? Yeah. I, I've been married to my wife now for 13 years. I met her um, right out of college. We both went to Mary Washington, um, but I didn't know her while I was in school. Um, and I have three kids um, that are in two of them in the public school system. Um, I got a nine year old daughter, a five year old son and a six month old. Well, congratulations on, on that. Um, uh, and 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 how old are you? I am 39 years old. 39. Very good. Uh, why do you want to be treasurer? Well, so we're talking about a lot of money here, and I feel like you have to give it to somebody who kind of knows how the system works, um, and somebody who has a firm foundation in the government, understands how all the departments work. Um, I feel like I'm the best person for this job because I spent my career working within the system and also trying to improve it um, for the taxpayers. And it's, you know, the treasurer is a very critical role in this county and it needs to have somebody that's, you know, a professional who has experience and the education to, to do that job. And that's that's really why I'm running. I feel like it, it's that important that I need to run. 
are there any processes that that you see that could use improvement uh, in the treasurer's office? Yeah. So, you know, as an elected official, I think one of the really important things is do, you want to make systems that work for the citizens, right? So customer service is always key. Um, I think we need to improve, we need to expand the office hours. Um, currently the office closes um, prior to the building and that creates headaches um, for a lot of other departments and citizens. Um, I know like utilities, if they shut your water off and you run out here to get it resolved and then you can't go pay. So um, that, that causes some, some headaches there that I wanna fix. Um, on the county's website, um, it still doesn't have your payment history up there. Me having kind of like an IT project manager background, I see that as a simple fix, something that should easily be corrected, but it's been sitting out there for eight months, not corrected. Um, as I've been talking to citizens, a lot of them don't know what their options are when it comes to if they have trouble paying their taxes, right? So I think there's a lack of communication from the office. Um, so people don't really know what, what, yeah, what their options are until there's their their wages are garnished or there's a DMV stop and they can't renew their tax. So it's like I feel the office right now may do the most efficient route to get the money collected, but it's it needs to communicate with the taxpayers better. Um, do you have any idea about how many people, uh, how many accounts uh, are in arrears uh, that that may be experiencing that that type of problem? No, I don't have that. I don't have that information. Um, my my opponent would though, because she's the she worked in delinquent um, collections. Right. Right. Your uh, your your opponent uh, Heather Mitchell, whom you're running against in the January twentieth GOP um, primary, uh, is endorsed by uh, Laura Rudy, the outgoing treasurer of of many years. Laura Rudy has become a staple in Stafford County, uh, and as I understand it, you're endorsed by the Commissioner of the Revenue, Scott Myowski. Uh, and so you have two uh, departments that sit right next to each other in the, in the County Government Center, and both. Uh, are both the heads of those two departments are supporting different candidates. Has that made for interesting times uh, working uh, in offices right next to each other? It it certainly has. It's It's been a little stressful, um, you know, just having, having that sort of conflict between the offices. Um, I personally got along with Laura just fine. And when I told her I was running, I said, hey, you know what? I'd welcome your support if you ever change your mind, you know, but I, I applaud her for, you know, she told Heather she was going to support her and she stuck to it. And, um, but I have concerns that Heather doesn't have the skill set to, to carry out this job because it's not a, the, a political role in the typical sense, right? It's not the same as running for a Senator or state delegate. Um, this is a professional job. I'm a department manager, director. Um, so I need to have that expertise and it, in order to do my job efficiently. Um, so the center, um, the, 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 the treasurer's office, uh, it went through COVID, you know, it, it weathered the storm with, you know, having to to, to reopen uh, with the state offices. It opened uh, to the public long before other DMV locations did. It obviously has that DMV select where people, Stafford residents or anybody could really go in and, and take care of a limited number of DMV transactions within that uh, facility. So, so they, they weathered that storm. There, there has been prior to COVID, they, they reached, they rebuilt the office. They re, re renovated the office to make it more, it looks actually like a DMV, uh, now, uh, where you can, it's a payment center. Um, are these, were, were, so what would you continue, 
uh, under um, that 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 Laura Rudy started, and what might you do differently? Uh, I know you uh, you said something about putting a payment history online for people to access on their their accounts. Um, are, are there things that Laura Rudy did that that uh, that you admire that that are working, and and or things that you would change? Yeah, I mean, she brought online payments to the county, so I just feel like the more recent upgrade or system change that they did was um, somewhat rushed. And that's why there are things that are important that still aren't showing up there. Um, so I give her credit for, you know, the online payments. That's great. Um, there's one issue that's looming over us, and that is that we're on a 30 year old cashiering system. So as you know, Technology changes fast. Um, and so we do have to start considering our options. And I've seen in other localities what happens when you don't have a strong leader with good um, institutional knowledge and they pass the buck to their IT department to pick a software solution for them. And it can create a huge, huge disaster. Um, and so that is something that I've already started actively kind of looking into. Um, and because, you know, we handle stuff on the billing side too. So, um, so that, that's something that's looming over us. That's something that needs to be addressed as well. Um, I, finally, why uh, should people vote for you if they haven't already? Early voting has been going on since May 5th. Feel like there's always an early voting happening somewhere in Virginia these days. Uh, but for those who haven't voted for you um, uh, yet, or those who are considering uh, voting in the June 20th on election day itself, uh, why should they vote for you? So in my years here at Stafford, I've seen three types of leaders, the, the good leaders, the bad leaders, and the ones that don't stick around. So I can tell you that, um, I'm invested in this community. Um, good leaders are actively always, they don't rest on their laurels, right? They're always trying to improve things. And in my role, I would be trying to improve things for the citizens of Stafford County. Um, in order to do that, you know, we need to have like a solid background and understanding of both the county government and also the related field experience, in this case, finance. So I've worked in the finance field for 10 years. I've worked in the county government for 17. Um, I feel like I have both those necessary um, aspects in order to perform this job. Mike Sinkowski is running for the Stafford County Treasurer seat in the June 20th Primary, Mike, thanks for coming on and talking to us about the campaign today and sharing some thoughts. Thanks, Uriah.